Well, here we are at the big 200th show. Oh my. This is amazing, 200 yeah, yeah. shows. Wow. And so we're actually revisiting one of the older shows, which was just a, a bunch of stills I took on a guy's ranch. The guy that owned the uh, school where I was teaching, Rob Rossi, oh. bought Rancho Santa Margarita in Santa Margarita, California, right on the central coast. Beautiful, wow, beautiful, beautiful. beautiful. Yeah because he wanted to do vineyards and, you know, make wine. Of course. It's drink California. wine. But he also wanted to build a railroad. Mm. So he built a three-foot gauge railroad, steam locomotives, of course. Right. Uh, and then that connects the house and the old mission building mm -hmm. uh, to uh, the runway. Runway? Yeah, well, if you're living in Santa Barbara and you're on the Central Coast, then you can fly up. It's much, much quicker. Anyway, he likes airplanes. Yeah. So he put in a runway and he put in a railroad and uh, on this ranch, it's one of California's oldest ranches, the old original, sort of like a mission, it's called a, an, asten, an extensia. Extensia? Extensia? Extensia. I, my Spanish sucks. Oh, you gotta teach us Spanish. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> si. <laughs> I know taco and burrito, and uh, beyond that, I'm not so good. Palabras. Okay, yeah? Si. <laughs> <laughs> Teach me some more Spanish. Okay, yeah. okay. Anyway, the Estancia? The Estancia was built in the late 1700s uh -huh. as part of El Camino Real. Oh, wow. And uh, just amazing, just amazing. So that's on the ranch, too. The real and the railroad goes right by the nice. Estancia. So check this out. It's also a big show these days. Uh, some years ago, the, uh, Rob and, and some other people decided that they'd do a big annual show there, mm. the Best of the West Antique wow. Machinery Show. Oh, gotta see that. And so uh, every year they do that. So well, check this fun. out. Yeah. The Best of the West Antique Machinery Show with airplanes and tractors and trucks oh, and narrow gauge trains and steam locomotives and gasoline locomotives. Wow. It's, it's all here. So check this out. <laughs> So Rob started working on this railroad some, oh, I don't know, a little over 10 years ago. He bought into this ranch in the 1990s with some other people with the idea of growing grapes to make wine. <laughs> That's a neat idea. Yeah, well, I guess his family has been in the winemaking business. The Rossi family is well known in the winemaking business. Mm -hmm. I didn't really know that. I That's just knew him good. as our landlord. <laughs> there you, you know? go, your landlord. <laughs> but uh, I guess winemaking comes to Well, it's that part of California, too. It is that part of California. and. And he loves narrow gauge railroads and trains, and since he has a huge ranch, he figured, what the heck? Oddly enough, this little section where he's built the railroad here, it's on about 1,200 acres, oh, wow. which is the old original center to the ranch, but it's a 12,000 acre ranch, mm. so this just takes up a little teeny, teeny corner of it. A bit of property. He decided to call it the Pacific Coast Railroad. This uh, barn, the barn is actually the oldest building on the ranch because the barn was built over the top of this building, the Estancia, the old original Spanish mission built in 1774. And there were people here long before that. The Chumash Indians had been living here for oh, a couple thousand years before the Spanish came along and built the mission. <laughs> Interestingly, the barn has fallen down a couple of times in earthquakes. Uh, first time I saw it, they were rebuilding it. But the mission building inside it is intact after all these hundreds of years. Isn't that neat the way they did the stonework? That's really cool. I like the design. It's really cool. I love those arches. The arches are made out of like a terracotta or something. Something. And then the stonework just sort of fit in around that. Wow. So Rob has a couple of these little gasoline engines. They're not diesel, they actually run on gasoline. And I think he has four steam locomotives. I'm not sure on that. I, I'm 
it says on the website three, but I know we saw four, saw so four. one might be a loner, I don't oh, know. Oh, yeah. But they were, as far as I know, they were all built by movie studios oh, to wow. use in movies, and they built them out of switch engines hmm. and just made them look like old Westy, uh, old Westy locomotives. The cars here are really neat. The cars came from Disneyland. Oh, how fun. After uh, Disneyland put in the, uh, the Grand Canyon and, mm. and the primeval world, they redesigned all of their uh, passenger cars to face the side, and they just sold off all the front-facing cars, <laughs> and four of them have ended up here on Rob's oh, Ranch. how fun. And this is the big event that sort of brought us here, the Best of the West Antique Equipment Show, and they do this on the ranch every Memorial Day. Oh, how fun. Look at all those tractors. Isn't this cool? This old steam tractor blew my mind. Look at the stairway that goes up to the <laughs> steering wheel. But steam tractors are really neat. They're just like locomotives, they only are. not. You know, they're designed to run on the ground instead of on track. Mm -hmm. But that thing is just fascinating. Oh my. And this one has this cast iron little mural on the front of it. I thought that was really cool. That's one of my favorites. Oh, they're just all neat. I think the steam tractors were my favorite, but some of these really old ones like this one run on gasoline and go. diesel. <laughs> so there's just no telling. Oh, and then Rob let him tear up a whole bunch of, of ranch. Of course. <laughs> gotta let oh, the guys go play gotta, in the dirt. <laughs> gotta demonstrate how the bulldozer works. So they just uh, bulldozed out about 40 acres just right. for fun. But these old trucks are just a hoot. I know my brother would have loved all oh, of he them. Would have he would loved a, that one there. Oh, he was an antique truck mm -hmm. fan, I'll tell you what. And chain drive and hard rubber tires. This was my favorite. This is really neat. A little more modern, but it's, as the sign says, it's cool. Yes. The first year they did this, there was, oh, I don't know, like 30 hit and miss engines. No. And that was the, that was the whole deal. This year there's, what, I don't know, 150 of these tractors. Oh, at least. Dating everywhere from uh, the 1870s all the way to the 1950s. And they're big, too. <laughs> now, some of them run on tracks like a bulldozer, and some of them run on steel wheels. Hmm. Now, there were a bunch of military vehicles oh, here, too. Uh, this is a half track. There were also half a dozen tanks here. This has become quite a thing, people collecting World War II vintage armor and so wow. on. We did that whole show on Mr. Smith yes. and his collection <laughs> and of his tanks. Collection, yes. But that's becoming a thing, collecting tanks. Mm -hmm. And of course, there were the usual vendors. No, That's of course. fun. It's just oh, fun yeah, to see what they shop have. for trinketry and so on. Some of the oldest equipment here doesn't run on gasoline or steam That's or horsepower. diesel. It's horses, horsepower. <laughs> this is a two horsepower wagon uh -huh. here, and the one behind that is a two mule power uh, wagon. Ah, the mule team. <laughs> Fun to see that. But my favorite is, of course, the steam railroad. I mean, mm -hmm. duh. Well, that's what you we know, were there for, That's too. what we came yeah. for, really, was the steam railroad. Because these things were built as movie props, they don't really look like any specific no. steam locomotive. They, right. Sort of a freelance-looking affair. But they're really neat looking, and you might recognize them. I know one of these was on the Dr. Quinn Medicine oh, Woman really? on that show. Oh, yeah. serious. I love that show. But you might recognize the engines from different westerns and TV shows mm -hmm. that you've seen. Now, since the railroad has a runway, mm -hmm. it seems logical to bring in World War II vintage oh, aircraft. My. And that was one of the major parts of the show. Check out the B-25 here. That's cool. They're selling rides on it, but a little expensive to yeah. go for a ride on a B-25. Yes. But, you know, we've done that. We have done that, yes. Hey, it's worth the money. If you yes. ever have a chance, do it. You exactly. won't regret it. You know, I found out just a few years before she died that my mother was a big fan of these airplanes. Oh, my parents, too. Both of them, they could name any aircraft. It was amazing. 
we, when you think about it, anybody that survived World War II and that was there, when they look at these airplanes, they see what saved America, what saved their exactly. lifestyle. And they were taught how to identify American versus foreign. Well, it was critical. They had to be able to spot the enemy planes if they came overhead. Exactly. Certainly an eclectic mix in <laughs> aircraft and narrow gauge trains oh together like this. But from one end of the ranch to the other, just amazing exotic pieces of equipment running. What a fun day. The Aww. best of the West antique <laughs> equipment show. I loved it. Let's go back again. Let's do it. Yeah, I wouldn't mind going every single year. Absolutely. This was a ball. Mm -hmm. Now, we met a whole bunch of people who were running the railroad. Right. The locomotive engineers were here from Disneyland. Yes, that's fun. <laughs> the one guy was down here from the Big Trees Railroad. Yeah. It seems that there's a whole bunch of volunteers and people who just come in and run the railroad. Help out. <laughs> I think some of the equipment belongs to some of these people, and Rob Probably. just lets them, you know, use the ranch, as mm -hmm. it were. But it's just really cool. It's actually become quite a large group of people now running the railroad. Wow. The loop of track is two miles long. Wow. It was all laid at one time, and then they had a golden spike ceremony. Oh. But since then, they've enlarged it slightly in that they built this facility here. It's kind of a yard and storage building to keep some of the equipment inside. That's really neat to see. And some other narrow gauge equipment here. I see some Rio Grande cars. Mm. I think this stuff probably belongs to someone else, but I really don't know. Yeah. If anybody wants to throw down in the comments section, I'd love to know what this stuff is. Exactly. They sometimes hold other events similar to this one, but they also do a lot of private events, weddings and parties and stuff. So. If you want to rent a ranch with a railroad for a wedding or whatever, uh, it's available. There we go. I'll put a link in the description, so if you want to rent the railroad, you can just click on the link and give them an email or whatever. <laughs> whatever it takes. Yeah, whatever it takes. Find out what it costs to rent a railroad for mm. the day. Now this is just sort of fun. A few years ago, uh, quite a few years ago, lightning hit this tree and killed it, but formed a beautiful horse's head. At least it wasn't the other end of the horse. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, it never ceases to amaze me what lengths people will go to when it comes to screwing around. Mm -hmm. You would think that building a two mile long narrow gauge steam railroad on your ranch would just be completely and utterly unheard of. Yeah. But as it turns out, it really isn't even no. all that unusual. <laughs> this sort of thing pops up all over the it place. It sure does. I mean, here on the channel, we've covered I don't know how many people who've done full size exactly. locomotive restorations in their backyard right. or built a three foot gauge railroad in their backyard mm -hmm. train people are nuts well, any good way <laughs> in a really 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 good way but uh, on some levels this really does take the cake doesn't it it sure does
Well, on so many levels, I think the name of this event just doesn't do it justice. No, it doesn't. The, the Best of the West Antique Equipment Show. <laughs> Well, yeah, it, it is that. <laughs> it is for sure. But uh, it's so much more than that. Oh, it I mean, is. It's just absolutely a fabulous, fabulous show disguised with a rather ambiguous name. No kidding. <laughs> but I don't know what you would call it. Uh, 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 yeah. Yeah, who knows? Yeah. Work on that one. But in the meantime, it's going to be called the Best of the West Antique Equipment Show mm -hmm. on the Rossi Ranch. Exactly. Every Memorial Day. Right. Now, of course, events like this require a certain amount of hanging around and hobnobbing with the crew and so <laughs> of on. Of course. And we started talking steam railroads, and one of these guys is here from the uh, Big Trees Railroad, the yes. Roaring Camp and Big Trees Railroad. Oh, boy. And he said, hey, we're running this weekend, so why don't you guys come on up and <laughs> ride the train? So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're exactly. Gonna, it's actually not all that far from here. No. So we're just going to climb in the car in the morning and head on up to Big Trees. Absolutely. And that should be a lot of fun. Uh -huh. Well, that's Rob's oh, Ranch. Wow. <laughs> and, and the best of the West uh, antique machinery I show. I like the machinery. It's neat, the old I tractors. Like that. I and, love old tractors. And you know, like just, just uh, like I noticed all the machinery as contrivances to move people around. There were mm -hmm. no, for example, washing machines. But sure? there was, uh, I didn't see any. <laughs> Sometimes I felt like I'd been through the yeah, ringer, but yeah. I, no, there were no there were actual no washing, washing machines, machines that I was aware of yeah. at any rate. But uh, nevertheless, quite, quite fun. <laughs> And an amazing show. We yeah. will have to go back again. Oh, we've got to, yes. Because they Absolutely. do it every year. Yeah, they do. We ran into some people, too, while we were there running the steam locomotive that right. were there from the Big Trees yeah. Railroad. Just uh, in the hood. Just barely north of here. <laughs> and they said, you know, you're only a short distance away. Uh -huh. Why don't you pop on up? Because we're running this weekend. So yeah. guess what? <laughs> we went up. We went up. So <laughs> next week's show is the Big Trees Railroad. Right. Oh, that was just cool. north of Rob's Ranch, so that'll be a lot of fun too. Mm -hmm. Well, if you haven't been over to the channel, pop on over to the channel, and there's now 200, 200. movies, wow. so you can pick any one of those 200 movies or just binge watch all 200 of them. Uh, that's pretty cool. That's and what you I can do. do that as well. <laughs> when I'm in the room all by myself, I'm well, binge watching. You know, you, there's so many of them I just watch over and over because yeah. they remind me of fun times they, that we've yeah. had. So exactly. it's all good. <laughs> Now, the easiest way to get over to the channel, and it will make you a subscriber, which is important because you want to be a subscriber, yes. because being a subscriber means that you'll be notified whenever we upload a movie. Mm -hmm. It doesn't cost anything. It's no. not that kind of subscription. No. It just means you get notified when we upload a movie. Mm -hmm. And the easy way to subscribe and to get to the channel is to click on the blue button, zoink. Mm -hmm. This blue button, if you don't see it, it's because you're watching on a device that doesn't support the blue button. No. <laughs> Some of them don't. Well, it depends. Sometimes if you turn if the screen, it anyway. If you <laughs> blue button, right? <laughs> well, we're not sure how you found this movie on the internet. We hope you didn't find it boring, and we will see you here again in one week with some more massive screwing around. See you then. Bye bye. bye.